Values are ripped up, power lines torn down. Tropical cyclone Kiralee smashes the North Queensland coast, leaving tens of thousands in the dark. Tonight we're live from the impact zone as the threat eases and the cleanup begins. The system sweeps inland, new communities now on alert for life-threatening flash flooding. A state divided, thousands march in Invasion Day rallies, rogue protesters target the Gabba. Queenslanders catching COVID in our hospitals. The warning from medical experts over alarming death rates. And why nobody's winning the Powerball jackpot. The shocking secret changing your odds. This is Nine News Queensland. Good evening, live from Townsville, the city, breathing a sigh of relief tonight, having escaped major destruction from tropical cyclone Kiralee. The storm shifted gears just before crossing the coast last night, dropping to a Category 2 system, but still packing enough of a punch to bring down the trees and power lines, plunging 60,000 homes and businesses into darkness. While residents along the coast start the clean-up, all eyes are turning inland now, with communities there bracing for a dangerous deluge. Our reporters have been out assessing the damage right across the region and are standing by with the very latest. Lily Greer begins our coverage. Kiralee arriving in the dead of night and she's raging. Strong winds turning debris into missiles. Power lines sparking major oh. problems. Oh Wind gusts over 100 kilometres an hour wreaking havoc, shattering windows, bringing down signs. It built steadily from early evening up until about 10 or 11. Uh, that's when it got scariest. As the day dawned, the destruction became clear. Trees splintered in half, others ripped from their roots. For some miraculous reason it's gone across the road. And Mr. S, the neighbours. Her car, copping it instead. And there were plenty of others, sheds in the firing line too. Oh, man! Train lines taken out, this drive-in further south at air destroyed. Crops swept sideways and fences flattened. Oh, there it goes, there goes the tree on it, it's taken out, it's taken out. In Townsville, electricity transformers exploding. Oh, oh and fallen power lines plunging the city into darkness. When the power lines hit each other, there were massive green sparks and it was pretty wild. Uh, the biggest impact at this stage is on the energy network. 64,000 households are without power right now. Today, with dozens of lines down, some residents were trapped. So, stuck here for a while and uh, hopefully Ergon can get here as soon as possible. Driving treacherous when the road looks like this. But despite the downpours, residents are being urged to conserve water until power is restored. While the damage is widespread, there's relief that no lives were lost. Uh, we've had no reported missing persons or serious injuries as a result of the crossing uh, of the cyclone last night. And at the peak of all this chaos, baby Stella decided it was her time to arrive. Power did go out, but came back on straight after. During the epidural, a little bit scary. Reinforcements rolling in today as the cleanup begins. <laughs> But authorities say it could still be days until power is restored and roads are cleared. Part of that cleanup is going to include moving this boat, which is washed ashore on the strand here. For locals, it's been a spectacle today. They've been coming down and taking photos with it, but it's going to be a bit of a headache for the owner trying to relocate this vessel. I can tell you, driving around the region today, there is an enormous sense of relief that while Kiralee packed a punch, these communities aren't going to be able to pick themselves up and dust themselves off. A lot of the damage is very manageable. In fact, we saw quite a few locals getting stuck into the cleanup today. There's also a sense of satisfaction that North Queenslanders were able to get themselves so well prepared for this event. Nevertheless, Andrew, we are expecting to see the Premier in North Queensland tomorrow to visit cyclone impacted communities. Thanks, Lily. Well, let's go straight to uh, Jacob Chico now, who's at Panorenda, a coastal suburb battered overnight. Jacob, energy workers there are facing a massive mission to get the power back on. 
Andrew, the task ahead will not be an easy one. Crews, they simply have their hands full because this evening, as we go to where, there are 62,500 customers without power across those impact zones in North Queensland and 52,000 of those are right here in Townsville. It seems like this behind me that's really hampering those efforts for crews. There are so many trees down and plenty of trees over power lines. The good news is there is support on the way. 100 ergon workers on the ground already will have that support arrive in tonight and throughout tomorrow, 600 more energy workers are arriving here to provide a much needed helping hand. Sadly for residents though, this job is so big, people here have been told to prepare for the worst. It could be up to seven days before power is fully restored. Just because the damage isn't in their area doesn't mean that we've got damage to respond to. And just want to reassure that um, if there is damage to the network that our customers actually report that. It helps us restore power quicker because we can actually get trucks to the, to the damage. Andrew, at the Townsville University Hospital, the damage was minimal there, but there were some there was some issues with equipment there because of the power outages. The good news is backup generators are working extremely well, so patient care has not been impacted. Thanks, Jacob. I want to take you now to Nines weather expert Luke Bradnam, who's at the Townsville Marina. Luke, where's this system tracking now? Well, Lofty, one of the reasons we didn't see a lot of rain, particularly here in Townsville last night when Kiralee eventually made landfall, is she was tracking so quickly, moving just shy of 30 kilometres an hour. She has kept that pace up today. On your screen, the tracking map in the coming days of where we're going to see that intense rainfall. Unfortunately, tomorrow expected to stall somewhat, and that could see some potentially heavy falls, particularly the northwest of our state and through the central interior. Talking falls up to 50, even possibly 100 millimetres depending on how much she slows down tomorrow. She's on her way to the Northern Territory border, expected to arrive there either late Monday, early Tuesday. Tomorrow along the North Queensland coast, Lofty, believe it or not, light winds on the way. A severe heat wave will imp uh, impact the southeast of the state, though. I'll have all those details. A full weather app coming up shortly. Thanks, Luke. Well, turning to the day's other news now, and there were parties and patriotism, barbecues in...